Inner Circle Task Force is among the most demanded Battle Force boxes this year. It was diabolically hard to procure. It was actually quite funny. I was trying to get this box at my local game store, and I was not able to do that for the first time ever. It was sold out the moment (laughs) I was trying to purchase it. And usually the way it works, they release the boxes in my local game store the same time Games Workshop does that, and it was already gone. I was really baffled. I went to Games Workshop website to purchase from them. I was able to put the box in the cart, but by the moment I was trying to pay for it, it was already gone. I was fairly certain I would not be able to find it anywhere else. I checked some other not-so-local game stores around me, and it was gone everywhere. Until I, by chance, decided to check another game store, which was not that known to the vast majority of people living around me. And guess what? They had it. They had a pre-order of 10 boxes, and I was able to get one of them. So they went sold out almost immediately after I was booking mine. This box is apparently immensely popular, and uh, we can see why. All these minis, all these minis are fairly new. I'm not sure about the lion, if he is from 2024, but uh, the rest of the minis is fairly new. This is one of the newest boxes ever, like minis in this box are incredibly new. So what do we have here? We have two squads of Inner Circle Companions. Apparently you can build them differently. I really hope there is some variation over here. We have two squads of Deathwing Knights with uh, teleport beacons and uh, Watchers in the Dark. We have a very nice Chaplain in Terminator armor, although a generic one. You can use him for pretty much any chapter. And of course we have the Lion. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and open this box. I must say the box is fairly compact. I actually was surprised by how small the package was that I received. But uh, everything seems to be in place. We have Deathwing Knights, Inner Circle Companions, the Lion, and of course the Chaplain and Terminator armor. So only one set of instructions. We have built this guy before on this channel. So I don't think there is any point to us to repeat the process unless we want to have some options for his weaponry. Actually, we might do that because I can see that it has optional assembly here, here and here for the hat. So we might build another guy at some point. Lionel Johnson, of course. The lion has a number of options for his hat. And I guess that is pretty much... That is pretty much all the variability that is there. Really beautiful miniature. I think you guys named it the best Primark mini so far. Probably apart from Angron, I don't know. Inner Circle Companions. These guys look like they have some options to assemble them. I'm definitely building the guy with with a flag or whatever it is called. Standard. These guys look nice, definitely building them. And of course, these beautiful lads. Deathwing Knights. Let's take a look. Some variability here. You can build them this way, or you can build them this way with hoods and stuff. And you can see that there are Terminator hats and bear hats, hooded hats. This is interesting. This looks like uh, the second most interesting options wise set of miniatures after the lion in this box and you can get all these guys over here judging by the pictures online both squads of terminators can be assembled very very differently that is why we're probably gonna build all of them we have a bunch of bases and we have a bunch of spruce here so this is the chaplain and terminator armor this is a really cool mini Apparently he can bear a lot of weapons options, it's quite cool. The next sprue is for Inner Circle Companions. You can see there is this standard or flag over here. Cloaks, lots of cool swords. Yeah, this looks incredibly cool, guys. Can't wait to build those lads. We get a second sprue of exactly the same kind. 
seconds inner circle companion sprue. So it's two exactly the same sprues. And this must be the sprue for the lion. You can see the Emperor's shield over here. Really fancy looking base, tactical rock. Very, very beautiful. A lot of details. The huge sword. The pauldrons. Yeah, this mini is cool. This mini is very cool. The next sprue is most likely for the Deathwing Knights. I can see a teleporter beacon over here. And uh, beats for the guys. Yeah, some heads over here. Yeah, looks very cool. We get another one of this. It's exactly the same as this one. And then we have this sprue with a, a lot of really detailed beats. Love the shields they bear. Really, really, really cool sprue. These lads are amazing. No wonder they are so popular. Everybody wants to build them. The Deathwing Knights are the new minis of Deathwing Knights released this year. And before that, they looked like uh, old style Terminators. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Love this. These shields, they are amazing. And the pauldrons are really, really, really cool. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. And after all the sprues, the only thing that is left is the Dark Angels transfer sheet. A bunch of beautiful transfers. Very, very nice. I'm gonna keep it here. And that is pretty much it, my friends. So again, we got two large sprues of Deathwing Knights. This is the first one. And you see it doesn't even fit into the box. <laughs> it is a little bit larger than the boxes. Then we got two more sprues of Deathwing Knights. Put it here. We got two sprues for... Actually, one sprue for the lion. This is the lion sprue. And two sprues of the inner circle companions. And of course, the Terminator chaplain. So all these lads over here and some bases. To the best of my knowledge, this box provides a 30-ish percent discount to the prices if you buy all these separately. And uh, this is effectively six different boxes. Two boxes of Deathwing Knights, two boxes of Inner Circle Companions, one Lion and one Chaplain, which makes it six boxes. And of course, if you buy this box from retailers, you probably won't get this 30-ish percent discount. You will get slightly less. And keeping in mind that this box was gone in seconds after release, you probably won't be able to find it uh, cheaply anywhere, pretty much. Because I'm pretty sure there is, like, none left for purchase. I have seen some of them on eBay for ridiculous prices, which makes it completely pointless, because... This box does not have any unique minis. You can buy all the minis from this box separately. And the only point was to save some money. Usually this is how the Christmas battle forces work. You are supposed to get some minis and save some money. If you buy this box uh, secondhand, so to speak, you probably won't be saving that much. I'm not even sure if I've saved anything. I bought it almost the same price as was available at Games Workshop website, plus a little bit of uh, extra for delivery. I don't think that was a particularly good deal for me, but um, I did not have the vast majority of these minis. I did have a lion though, and we have already built the chaplain. But uh, these cool minis I didn't have, and it's two sets of them, so I'm very excited about the perspectives of building them really soon. Along this box, there were four more boxes released. The moderately interesting was the one with the knights, even though the knights did not have all the possible options of knights in this box. But that one was kind of seeing some traction, and the rest three were completely uninteresting for people. They are still available in local game stores, on Games Workshop website, and so on and so forth. So I think it's only the Inner Circle Task Force and the Knights that were completely gone from European Games Workshop website. And I think uh, this is gonna be it for today, my friends. We took a look at this really, really nice box. Let me know in the comment section below if you had a chance to buy this one, if you wanted to buy this one in the first place, and if it was challenging to find it. 
please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the contents. And I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.